Hi, this is Dr. Clyde. I'm looking at what I think is one of the more profound sports nutrition research papers that I've ever seen, published in Sports Medicine 2021 by Stellingworth and co-workers, that overtraining syndrome is mainly driven by undernutrition. They refer to that specifically as relative energy deficiency in sports, R-E-D-S, or REDS. And they show that in reviewing the scientific literature, 84% of documented overtraining uh, cases are caused by low caloric intake and or more specifically low carbohydrate intake. And that depending on the athlete level and where they are in their training cycle and the sport they're in, 30 to 90% of athletes experience this every single year whenever the deficit is too great during their highest training load. And then in the studies that looked, those athletes who were closer to four as opposed to eight, so half the amount of grams of carbohydrate per kilogram per day, four versus eight, and that's around 1,000 versus 2,000 calories of uh, carbohydrate per day for your typical athlete intake, experience overtraining symptoms. So this strongly implies that most overtraining, almost all overtraining, is actually driven by underhealing, and that that underhealing is driven by undernutrition, either low caloric and or low carbohydrate intake, which could be concurrent where caloric calories are being restricted that leads to low carbohydrate intake, or perhaps not enough of other calories, but enough carbohydrates. So some combination of those two have to be addressed in an athlete in order to maximize the healing capacity so that they can maintain their training and even increase their training load.